Hey everybody, it's Disney Ever After 21 and welcome back to another video and today I'll be reviewing the Apple White doll from the Ever After High Hatastic Party Line. Well, sort of. So first of all, I just want to say that I will not be deboxing her. That's because um, I don't have lots of space in my room to display them. I actually have like one level for my bookshelf to display the dolls. And they're pretty much almost full with my Disney dolls and the basic dolls. So I have decided to only debox the basic dolls for now. And another reason is that since I'm not going to play with them even after I debox them. So I'm worried that their little teacups and teapots might get lost after a while. And I was seriously contemplating whether I should debox them for the review. But um, since they're displayed so nicely in the box... And you can pretty much see everything, so I will not be deboxing her. But I will be taking off the plastic case to give you guys a better look. So please forgive me. Now let's take a look one round of her box before we get into detail. So here is just a quick peek. Now let's take a look at the outside of her box first. So basically the color theme for the Hatastic Party dolls are just aqua. And they don't have different colors for each dolls. But for Apple, on the top it says... Apple white in red, and there's the logo for the Hatastic Party Line. It has the aqua hat and some flowers, and uh, and then for the background, you can see there are trees and little spoons, teaspoons, and thingies falling down. And then going down on the left side, you can see that there is cakes and cupcakes, and cups, and then you can see lots of teapots and hats there. And then you can see that there's a little pretend cardboard table for the teapot and the cups. And then on the side, it says Ever After High. And that's about it. So on the side, it has the Ever After High general logo. And then there's a portrait of Apple in her Hatastic Party outfit. And then it says Apple White, Daughter of Snow White. And then there's the logo. And it has a little like, polka dots everywhere, which is really cute. And here is the back. So on the top, it says Terrific Wonderland Fashion Style. And they do not come with a storybook, but they do come with the stand. And then, what does it say? Oh, this is the same thing as the other dolls. And there's a picture of all the dolls available from this line, which is Apple, Cedar, Briar, Cerise, and Maddie herself. And I heard that Maddie is the one coming with the playset. And then there's the full artwork of Apple in her new outfit. And then the, we have this little Facebook-inspired event thingy. It says, A Wonderlandful Hatastic Party by Madeline Hatter. Is it your destiny to go? Hex yeah, rewrite. So here is the guest list with all the available attending guests, and it includes Earl Grey as well, so I'm hoping Maddie would come with Earl Grey, her mouse pet. And then there's Maddie and Apple commenting each other and stuff. This says Apple White charms this instead of likes this, which is really cool. And then that's about it. Oh, from the bottom, it has the instruction instead of a papal manual inside that their hands come off. So that's about it, and I will take off the plastic case so that you guys can get a better look. So here is Apple with the plastic cover removed and she does not come with a story bookmark nor a brush because she comes with the little cute teapots and teacups instead. And on the back, I peeked and found that she has a clear stand but I'm guessing she has a black base but I'm not really sure. And right now on to Miss Apple herself. So she is really pretty though I think they have the same face sculpt. I find that this Apple is much more prettier maybe because of the makeup but... Um, yeah, so starting from the top, she has a headband that is black, and then she has a little pearly white hat, and in the front, she has a really cute sculpted red bow, which reminds me of Disney Snow White, who is famous for her red bow. And then for her hair, she has blonde hair with red streaks mixed in the front, and these front parts are curly, and obviously they're curled with gel because they feel hard. And on the side, she has a curly side bang as well, which is tied here at the back, which is really pretty, so I say... For hair-wise, they're better executed than the first one, regardless of the gel. And then for her makeup, she's wearing red lipsticks, and I'm glad that they got rid of the dots, and the lips are still shiny. And then for her eyes, she's wearing purple and gold eye makeup, and the gold part is actually shiny if you move in a certain way, which is really cool. And then she has little red earrings that shaped like an apple with the bow on the bottom. And then moving on, she has a pearl necklace with the red apple pendant. And then for her bag, she has a sling bag with black straps that made to look like beads and a pink purse. 
with a red apple detail there. They do not open and close, but they're sculpted pretty well. And then for her hands, she is wearing black gloves with white lacing detail, and her hands are actually painted black to make it look like gloves. Here is the other side. And then on this hand, she is made to look like she's holding a red teacup with a gold saucer. And then moving on, you can see that on the table, there's another teacup and a red teapot with a gold lid. It's made to look like a crown, which is pretty cute. And I think the saucer and the cups are separate pieces that you can actually play around. And then moving on to her shoes, she has white shoes with lots of floral details and strappings. And for the heel, um, it's really gold. And I don't know how to say it. I just think it looks like a swirly ice cream. <laughs> But it looks really cute and then she's wearing these really cute socks because they're really short but they're really cute and has some red detail on the edges and then finally moving on to her outfit she is wearing a red top with red sleeve and polka dots and then for her bodice she has a white bodice with lots of lacing detail and then she has little white sleeves here and then for her skirt it's made to look like two pieces but actually one piece is for the, one piece for the doll it had lots of ruffles on the front and then for her skirt it's really pretty it's white on the top and goes pink and then finally red and it has pictures of teacups and cupcakes all over and finally at the end there's some black lacing details and then her outfit feels really better than the first basic ones and you can actually see that her skirt is double layered wait let me focus yeah her skirt is double layered with a really soft satin feeling fabric underneath which is really impressive actually it just made the um, outfit feels a lot more expensive -er. oh more expensive -er. is that a word I don't think so and I would give her a 5 out of 5 because she is really pretty and her outfit and everything is well designed and well made quality wise and then with the accessories and all that so kids are gonna have uh, lots of fun playing with her so I guess that's it on my review of the Apple White doll from the Ever After High Head Test Stake Party Line. And if you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned for my other Head Test Stake Party Line doll reviews, which is Briar and Cerise. And right now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!